Today we dive into the story of a man all the way from Portugal to Mauritius. His mission to inspire and protect the island's marine life. Let's meet. My name is Bernardo. I'm in Mauritius to try to protect the marine ecosystems. Bernardo is not just any marine biologist. He is the head of education at Aquarium Odysseo, where he combines his passion for the ocean with his love for teaching. In late 2020, Bernardo moved to Mauritius while his family stayed in Portugal. But his dedication to the sea, which began in his childhood, keeps him driven. So, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I was, I was, I'm Portuguese, but I was born in Mozambique. And my mother says that probably I became a marine biologist because at that time, the environment, we were living near the beach, and at that time, the environment was so healthy and so unpolluted that when I was two weeks, she used to, from my age of two weeks, she used to take me to the ocean and to take me back. And she says that I would love to be in the ocean. I don't know if that is the real cause why I became a marine biologist, but uh, the truth is that I have been always close to the sea. I have been always living near the sea. And I do have this passion. I love the sea. I feel that is, the sea is in a quite uh, complicated situation. And the humankind, we cannot live without the oceans. So I feel that my mission is to help people to understand the importance of the sea and also the small things that they can do in order to protect the ocean. Although Mauritius is known for its beauty, Bernardo observed that its marine ecosystem is facing significant challenges. Mauritius is quite in a, a complex situation in what concerns the marine ecosystems. I think the role of the aquarium is probably more important than ever. Uh, in the 90s, when Michel Despreville is thought about doing this aquarium, there was already some constrictions and, and some challenge that Mauritius were facing. But in the last 20 years, there was a massive loss of coral reefs. And for us to understand the importance of the coral reefs, we are talking about an ecosystem that is 0.2% of the surface of the oceans, but that has 25% of the biodiversity associated with it. For people to understand the importance of the corals, Worldwide, uh, the direct uh, benefits and indirect benefits, if you put it in numbers, they would represent 15% of the total annual uh, world GDP, which is a massive amount of money. So this to say that the world cha challenge that we face with the corals, we also fa face it in Mauritius. So corals is a quite threatened ecosystem. I can see there as regions that lost a lot of corals, but it's not the only one. Mangroves, there was a massive loss. Mangroves. They are important nurseries, they are coastal protection. Seagrass, another ecosystem that we've been working quite close, it's also facing uh, massive threats. There was massive losses of seagrasses, and I heard part of it because resorts would take the seagrasses for the satisfaction of the clients. And that is, is, is quite a problem because they are important nurseries, they are very important for the carbon sink. They store a lot of carbon together with the mangroves, five to time, 10 times more efficient than the normal forest. And last, I would like to, to, to make a call for something that is a big uh, threat to all the marine and coastal ecosystems, which is waste, which probably would be, should be one of the easiest for us to solve. Everybody can stop leaving waste in the beach and, and, or anywhere, because even when you leave it in the mountains with the rains, it can easily end up in the beach. Or just help on some of the beach cleaning and activities that we have been developing. And together, I'm sure we can solve some of the massive problems that we are facing. Little did he know, his passion for the sea would lead him to Mauritius. And his message to us is... As a last message, join me in this quest of trying to protect the marine ecosystems. We will all gain with it. Thank you so much.